Okay, what I want to show you here is this is the algae that I grow out of salt water. And you see it's got its food in there. This is a voltage doubler unit, buck converter, whatever you want to call it. Plus 70 unit is the proper name. And this comes courtesy SEIC. And so what I want to show you here is that the cell is producing voltage. Um, as you can see the voltage is climbing. If this was a battery, it would be depleting in voltage. But it's kind of a, a live battery. The algae is alive. Um, and so I want to just show you something here. See this is on the millivolt scale. You can see it's producing voltage. So what we're going to do here is do something real quick. I'm going to zero out the machine. I'm going to come over here to milliamps. Okay. And now you can see that we're producing milliamps. It'll spike for a second. And then it'll start coming back down. Okay. Uh, the white and black wire are just AC input for this unit. I irrelevant. But you can see the milliamps are coming down. Okay. As they come down, okay. let's go back over here to voltage real quick. And the voltage also comes down. So during milliamps, it's depleting the voltage as well. And then it'll start raising back up. Now, the voltage, if it was coming from the meter, it wouldn't be um, in the same fashion. I've checked the meter. There's no voltage comes out of the meter. This is just my understanding of the ancient Egyptian batteries that they had and what they used them for. Now, if voltage was coming out of the meter, we'd see electrolysis. But there's absolutely no electrolysis being performed. So, there you go. Have a nice day.